Hello everyone, my name is Kendall Davis and today I am here with Dr. Cody Miller. So Cody, tell me, what is your role here at Rome State? So I'm serving as Dean of Student Academic Support Services, but I also call it the Dean of SAS for short, which is very appropriate if you know me. So, um, but really what that entails is that I'm just, our, the division is just Dean of Stuff. So that includes library, learning center, CTAT, advising, dual enrollment, middle college. I do commencement also. So um, it's just, I have my hands in so many different areas of the college and I just really, I just, I love that about, about this job. So that's what I, I am currently serving in now, but I also been at Rome State for 12, 13 years and I'm faculty here as well, professor of education. So I used to teach students who wanted to be teachers one day. So uh, I've been doing that in a past life and now, now for the past two years I've been doing Dean stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. So you mentioned that you went to school here. When did you graduate here and how was your experience here at Rome State? So yes, I did. I got my associates here and I graduated in 2003. And so it's been a long time now. I don't know if you noticed, but in this hallway right out here is a picture of me at commencement. So when I was a student, I got my general studies AS from here but I, I really just have kind of grown up here. And in fact, this office used to be my mother's office. So it's just kind of coming back home, right? So um, I've been, I can, Rose State's been my life, really. So how has your experience been working with middle college students? I loved it. Now I have learned a lot and it's been a very steep learning curve for me, but I think that I've been able to interact with students in a different capacity than what I have been previously. So. I think it's just, I, I know so many students' names. I know them individually. I know their, their stories. I know, what, you know about their families and their goals and hopes and dreams and all those things. And so it's been really a great experience for me to just walk around get to know them and then, and then help them accomplish their educational goals while they're here. So I've, I've learned a lot. I continue to learn a lot. And I, I know that I've only like scratched the surface of what there is to be with middle college but I've just been having a really good time with it. So I've, I've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of learning, but I've enjoyed it. So after Roan State, how was your educational journey? So after Roan State, I decided that I wanted to get out of Tennessee because I'm, I'm born and raised here. I'm from Rockwood. So I was like, I got I to gotta get out of town. So I went to Brigham Young University out in Utah and had a great time there. And then um, I was there for about five years and then I decided to come back to Tennessee. Tennessee's my home, it's where my family is. And so came back, went to Tennessee Tech, got my master's degree there, and then came to, I, I took a few years off from, from education, you know, and then I went into the real world and got the job here teaching. And then I decided to go to UT, Knoxville, to get my PhD. Um, Getting a PhD was always a, a goal of mine. You know, my, my father has a PhD, so I grew up watching him put his doctoral robes on every graduation. I'd be like, I'm gonna do that one day. And so I, I started doing that. Um, took me about five years to complete it. But, and what's kind of interesting, and it's always a fun story that I like to tell about that is, I defended my dissertation for my doctoral program during COVID, like COVID season one, right? So it was uh, July 2020 when I defended. And at that point, I was supposed to defend in person, right? So I was going to be in front of my committee in person doing everything. That's how I practiced. That's how I watched other people defend. And then everything was moved online. So I had to do my dissertation defense on Zoom. And that was the first time that anyone on my committee had ever done a Zoom dissertation defense. I got kicked out of my own Zoom for about 10 minutes. During my defense, wasn't stressful at all, not at all. Um, but I made it through and maybe they felt sorry for me and they, that's why they passed me. But anyway, I did my defense that way. And then, and so of course, because it was COVID, I wasn't able to go to graduation ceremonies to commencement. And so I was a little bit, uh, that's a little bit of a bummer, especially when it's your, your doctoral program, right? And so then um, that, those ceremonies were canceled. And the next year in 2021, I was allowed to go to commencement ceremonies uh, on campus at UT. But at that point, it just kind of wore off a little bit, you know, but what's kind of cool about that is I was here at the Rose State commencement ceremonies and that's when we headed outside in the tent. And I was like the drive-through commencement ceremonies. And, and so 
instead of doing my own doctoral hooding, my dad came and he basically did the hooding ceremony out in front of everybody under the tent during this drive through ceremony. And it was kind of fun because he's hooding me and it's his old doctoral robes that he basically passed down to me. So he's hooding me. I think Valerie Hurd is taking video and then you have Stephen Carragher in the background who's like singing Latin or something. And so, and it was just like a little chaotic and you had the band playing in the background, but honestly, I look back on that and I wouldn't have done it any other, any other way. It was just a very unique experience and thing. And I think very special between my dad and I, you know, that he was like handing down, you know, his doctoral robes to me. Thanks for talking to us today, Dr. Miller, and thank you for watching.